Hello, welcome back. This is CoinPig. So today, another release from the Raw Mint. Now, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Hit that notification bell. So this is a quick look at what the Raw Mint have released today. So there is an Alice Adventures in Wonderland set, set of two coins here. These are, as you can see here, I think that's the Cheshire Cat and Tweedledum and Tweedledee in these designs. You can buy them in this series of two, or you can buy them individually. So we're not going to talk about the series of two, except to say that you can buy them as a series of two. We'll look at the individual coins here, and we'll see the first one here. Of course, why they do this, I'm not sure. Come on, Raw Mint. If you're going to put a link in there, at least link it to the correct page. Apparently, it doesn't even link it to the correct page. I wonder why they're not selling money. <laughs> Honestly, I really wonder why. Because um, even this link takes you back to the same page. What is the point of having a link that takes you back to the same page that you just got the link from? I mean, you have to scroll all the way down here to get to anything related to the thing that you've just clicked on, and it's still not the items that you clicked on. None of these links link to the item, not one of them, link to the item that I clicked on. Right, so we'll try for the third and final time, we're gonna click on the actual set. And finally, it takes you through to the page that you should have been taken to in the first place. Except, of course, I don't want the series. Now, is this deliberate? What if I don't want to buy the two coin series, if I just want to buy one? Are you, are you telling me that I can't buy the one by doing this? And it reminds us here, by ordering a series you have committed to the purchase of the coins. So go back to the page here. I do want to buy the individual coin, not the set. Click on that and you go to a generic page which doesn't have any link to the coin that you want to buy. Tell me that that's either sensible, logical or in anybody's interest. It is not. They don't even give you the option of buying the coin that they're trying to sell. Can we buy this? Oh yes, we can buy this one. But this is the £20 version, not the £13 version. Is there, is there a reason for that? Apart from the fact that it's £20 and not £13? I don't know. This is the design anyway. The Cheshire Cat, I believe, doesn't actually say whether it is or not. There's the Queen, of course. And there's the packaging. And obviously this is in collaboration with the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. Now they've done collaborations with other museums, the Natural History Museum for instance with the dinosaurs, that didn't go well either for various reasons. So the Royal Mint haven't got a great track record with these um, collaborations recently. There's the spec, it's a £5 denomination coin which again isn't the most obvious that uh, people want to collect, certainly if it's supposed to appeal to a younger audience. The maximum coin minted 15,000, which is very high anyway. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not inspired by these coins. I don't particularly like the design. It looks like it's a lift, complete lift of the design from the book. I don't know if it is, but that's how it looks. In person, the coin may look much better, but it's difficult to tell because we can't actually see the coin. I'm just going to just going to whiz through the next ones now. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland 2021 UK half ounce silver proof coin, 5,000 limited edition, 65 pound. This is in the acrylic block. Um, this one's been struck to proof standard twice. Not quite sure why. Um, and I don't think it looks much better in this version, to be honest. In fact, it's a bit Tom Kitten like with those eyes. Uh, one pound denomination, 5,510, so another 10. This is uh, three nines, fine silver. This is the silver proof. This is the one ounce colorized version, as you can see. Again, 
same design, same, not very good design in my opinion. Still don't know who it is on the design. There's the Mad Hatter's Tea Party, which isn't part of the design. So again, I'm not sure why that's relevant to the on the box. Are they doing more? Well, we don't know, because they've only got two in the series, as far as we can tell. There's the Speckler, £2, 5, 3510 uh, 3500 in the limited edition, £100, again, way more than I'd expect to pay for a one-ounce silver coin. Gold, is that any better? Well, I'm going to have a look at this as a two-coin set, because I'm not 100% behind these gold coins either, because they're novelty coins, but they have a premium on these, considerable premium. This is the quarter-ounce gold-proof coin for £650. It's a £25 denomination, 510 maximum coin mintage. As I said, there are a limited edition of 500. Let's have a look at the individual for the one ounce. £2,440. So again, over £1,000, I think, at the current price premium on this particular coin. I mean, I know it might invoke, you know, invoke um, this, this, the cat eyes here. Definitely have some worrying similarities to the Tom Kitten design. 150, so it is much li more limited, this particular one, but I still think um, it's not good value. I mean, it's sold out apparently now, but yeah, I think £100 denomination, 160 is a maximum coin mintage, but I don't think it's a good buy, should we say. And with that, we'll say goodbye to those designs, I think. <laughs> we'll move on to the other item which isn't even out yet surprisingly this is the minty coming soon 250 again whether this one's worth anything to you i don't think it is oh it does say on here surprisingly it does say it is the cheshire cat yeah and and i don't know what the price is on these these are generally very very high 150 pounds i think normally available 2nd of august this is the queen victoria young head sovereign which was actually released i believe the year lewis carroll was first published um yeah minted in the same year alice alice's adventures in wonderland by lewis carroll was published so it's not related in any way <laughs> to lewis carroll except for the fact that it happened to coincide with the same year but it is an 1865 young head sovereign as you can see here they generally have a a, a minimum standard of fine it says fine plus condition 630 is a high price as well for these sort of coins. Anyway, this is the Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Not very adventurous and not a very good design in my opinion, but uh, I just thought I'd let you know. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Hit that notification bell. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Keep collecting.